Hi. So this video shall cover the first half of intellectual property. So that basically means the first two out of four types which are trademark and copyright after a brief introduction on what in fact intellectual property or IP is. Intellectual property. The definition itself uses the phrase any work making its ambit as wide as possible. What will qualify a work as an intellectual property is the creativity of an individual behind it. The mind has to be at play here. So as you can see there are four types, the last two will be covered in the next video. Trademark So again we come across the phrase any work coming with the broad spectrum it carries. The important aspect here is that the design, logo or whatever has to denote a specific kind of service or good or a brand. It should be exclusive in, in the nature in people's mind. Regarding trademark violations, like most things in law, the reasonable man perspective is seen. So basically it is used to decide if an ordinary citizen will be confused and fooled by the trademark or not. For example, there are two companies, Blackberry, the phone maker and Blackberry is the men's clothing brand. There is no violation here, but if either of them did business in the other's area, like Blackberry's decided to make phones or Blackberry decided to make suits for men, it would be a violation as the names are too close for the public to distinguish and many will associate a set brand while it may not be the original. So reasonable perspective is seen here. The two images denote trademark violations like Adidas with a B and so on, which somewhere or another, another all of us have seen in some form. Copyright The validity is often seen asked in legal knowledge, so keep that in mind. The most important aspect to be kept in mind is that you do not have to apply for a copyright and you do and you get one by default after you create your work. The exclu exclusivity is lesser here as you can take permission from the original creator to use his or her idea for your subsequent work, which is highly unlikely and common un and uncommon in trademarks. So it is more exclusive and specific. So moving on, as usual, going to a few past your questions now. Please pause the video to read the principle and facts carefully. This question is a typical example of how many things are written in the principle one after the other with commas to hide the main one to be tested. And the only reason why this becomes a good or tough question is because the options provided are closed, like option C and D. But D being closer to the principle, it is the right answer. Going to the next question. This is a good question as people tend to neglect subtleties or nuances mentioned in the principle. Being a question on copyright, people will pay attention at that and not at the first two words of both the principle and question and facts from where in 10 seconds you get the correct answer. Although it is true that legal knowledge is tested as to what the police ranks are and no reasoning or logic is used, it still should be done easily as it is an easy question. So this would be a vague question and it would be best to leave it in my opinion. Mainly because there can be confusion due to the sufficient work criteria and the principle which many can construe in many different ways. So I added this question just to prove a point that how easy questions from these topics come. 
it would be a sin to waste more than 15 seconds on this question as it is very direct So coming to the last question, here letter B in no way describes the quality of things and it may simply denote the brand name and nothing else. So the answer has to be C or option 3. So being a small topic and not so frequently tested topic, that is it for these topics in terms of theory and questions. Keep posted. Thank you and good luck.